Welcome back. This is part five of Crochet Your Own Mini Bear. In this video, we're going to sew everything together. We start with the legs first, then we add the tail, then we sew on the arms and we do the ears last. A couple of pins are helpful. That's for the ears. And I'm using a blunt and yarn needle for the entire assembly. So grab your needle and a couple of pins and let's get started. So we're going to sew the legs on first and it's important to do the legs first so we know exactly where to put those arms. I've done it the other way around and I ended up having to remove the arms because I put them back too far. So it's a good idea to put the legs on first. And the legs are very easy to put on but you just have to make sure that you got the stuffing at the tip still. And you can see they're kind of like in a V shape in the front. So you just want to make sure that V is in the middle and in line with the nose. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first one in and I'm just going to whip stitch this edge to the body. So this edge here. Okay, and now it's going to come down like that, so we don't want that. So we want to just tack down either side to the body. Okay, and I'm just going to grab that edge and go down into the body, and I'll come up on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to put a stitch right here, right on the side. And go back down, come out anywhere, we're just going to stop and see. Yep, so that holds it in place. If it's not holding it in place, just go back and do it again. And just go up a little bit further this time. So just tacking down the edge to make sure it stays in place. There we go. The first leg is in. Now all we have to do is just knot off anywhere. We'll just wrap around a stitch post before pulling all the way through, go through that loop and pull it tight. And I'll just bring this anywhere, pull it out, pull in it slightly and cut. Okay, make sure you're happy with the placement. Now I'll sew this one in. So when you first put your bear down, it's it'll probably topple over and I'll show you how to fix that in a second. First of all, I see this little bit here sticking up. I want to tack that down. I didn't see that the first time around. And that's okay, you can do it now. I'm going to tack that down. So I'm just going to wrap the yarn over the edge and bring it out anywhere. And pull. See, it evened that right out. Okay, now I can just knot off here. No, oh, it sat down that time. But if it didn't sit down, then all we have to do is just pinch the bottom down. And that just brings the stuffing down a little bit. And then you'll see that it will sit up perfectly fine. But we're also going to use the tail to help it... Um, is set up on its own as well. So the tail kind of acts like a little brace in the back. So you want the tail to be low enough where it will touch the table when you sew it on. So I just put my bear down, slide the tail into place, and I know it's going to go right there. So I'll just hold it with my thumb and then get my stitches in there. So I just bring the yarn tail down into the body and I'll come up on the other side just in front of the tail. Pull it through. Then I'll go back into the tail and straight into the body and I'll come out somewhere else near the edge of the tail. Okay, back in, grabbing the tail edge back into the body and up and away. And if it's too uncomfortable to bring it up too close to the tail, just bring it out anywhere. It doesn't matter as long as you get the stitch in there. Then you can go back on the same stitch hole you just came out of and then bring it in as close as you can get it to the edge of the tail. Okay, you just pe repeat around until there's no gaps left. Alright guys, the legs and the tail are on. Let's do the arms. You can see the arms are tucked in pretty close. And they do want to get away from you because they're so tiny, so just hold them in place and make sure that you're happy with how they look before you add any stitches. Oh, right about there. So I'll get the first one in and use pins if you need to hold it in place. 
Okay, and now again, I'm just going to whip stitch this edge to the body. So just going down into the body and then back right out through the edge of the arm. Into the body. And directly up into the arm again. Okay, I've just whip stitched all along that edge. So now I'm just going to tack down either side just like I did for the legs. So I'll go back down into the body, come out anywhere. Back into that stitch hole it is came out of and come up on the edge of the arm. And then back into the arm and into the body. That looks pretty good. Now I can just knot off. Alright, and then the other one. Again, same thing. I take my time to make sure it's positioned properly. And if I need to, I'll use pins to hold it in place. But I think it looks good right about there. I'm just going to whip stitch this edge to the body. So the ears, make sure your last stitch is on the side. Flatten it out and stretch out the ear if you need to. I always make them a little bit curved before I stick them on the head. Okay, and you're going to use pins to hold them in place. So we're going to sew the top edge of the ear in between rows two and three. So there's one, two, and three. So right about there. You don't have to be precise as long as it's right about there. And like I said, we're going to use pins to hold it in place. I have extra long pins, so I just need one. I'll put it right in the middle. The best thing to do is put them on the corners. Now you want to make sure you're very happy with the placement before you start sewing. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to bring my first stitch in. And I'm going to come up right on the other corner. So I'm going to work right down into the head and coming up on the other corner. And just pulling snug, not too tight, to alter the shape. Okay, making sure I'm still happy with the placement. And then I'll go through the ear, right through, and bring it through. And then right down into the head, as close as the ear you can get it, and bring it out anywhere. There, my two corners are sewn in. I was reviewing the film and I could see the sun was shining in such a way that you couldn't see some of the stitches. So I'm just going to go over what I was doing. So once you get your two corners sewn in, then you'll just come back and forth through the ear on the very bottom edge. And you'll just bring it back and forth. And every time you go back in, just make sure you're getting as close to the ear as you can get it. And if you can't bring it up in front of the ear, try to do that, but if you can't do that and it's not comfortable, bring it out anywhere else. As long as you go back through the same stitch hole you came out of, you'll be fine. And it doesn't take much to get the ear sewn in. Once those corners are in, it just takes a few stitches through the middle. So there we go. And once you're done, then you just knot off, carry the yarn tail away, pull on it slightly, and cut. And we are done. Alright my friends, it's time to celebrate. We are done crocheting our own little mini bear. And you should be very proud of yourself if you've never crocheted anything before. You've done it. You've got yourself a little bear made. Now we can turn it into other animals by changing the tail and the ears and those patterns will be coming up shortly on my blog. Coming up next on YouTube is how to turn them into the wedding bears. So all we do to turn them into wedding bears, we're going to use the exact same pattern we just made and we're going to add the accessories. So the next video coming up to YouTube is going to show you how to make the top hat, how to make the veil, the bouquet and a little bow tie of course. So you just watch what's popping up on your screen, and I'll meet you over in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you had fun crocheting yourself a little mini bear. I'll see you super soon.